A little bit of hold up in the action. I'm not quite sure what the deal is here. I think we may have a situation where maybe a little bit further back, a float maybe getting maybe repair. So. We're getting the first shot of our first band, which will be Vanderbilt. And as you see it, folks, at home on the television, I'd, I'd guess they're probably about 400 yards down from us, about a quarter of a mile. But they look like they're at rest right now. <laughs> yes, they do. Vanderbilt often has the honors of leading the parades like such as this. I know they were in High Cynthians a year ago. A great band, great performances, great festival band. And uh, it's going to be fun to see those guys come down here. And uh, as I look at the police unit right down the way, they don't look in any hurry to get moving. So I'm sure there's a little bit of a holdup on the parade route. And there's a shot of the band. And you can see the crowds. More and more people seem to be getting coming out as the parade nears. I agree. I think what's happening is that some of the people who may have caught it at the beginning They're are kind of catching up and catching it down here. I talked to someone the other day who said they watch the parade sometimes in three different places. So a lot of people do that, I guess. Well, actually, last night uh, we had Aquarius, which was a Saturday night parade. Most folks know that. After the parade passed near the Southland Mall, uh, I called home. I was here waiting for it. Got here a little early. And uh, when I called, I could have come here after eating, probably stayed wow. at the mall, <laughs> ate somewhere and come here. So a lot of people do do that. They catch it at the end. But the nice thing is, is the parade route is long enough and thin enough that it allows everybody to get a good view of what's going on. That's and right. I think that's important. Instead of having a little short parade where you're six and seven deep, right. it gives people the opportunity. And I think it's a good safety issue as well. I would say that we're probably in one of the more crowded areas, obviously being by the reviewing stand, but it's so nice in front of the courthouse it and right nice. across from the city club that it kind of gets a little thick in this area. We also mentioned the throws that these floats have. Of course, we're going to have the throwing floats coming pretty soon. It's amazing how much these ladies throw in this parade and how they can make this go the entire route and last. And uh, one thing we also mentioned, and uh, we're going to see some probably pretty unique things in this parade, is, is the throws. Some crews are unique to certain throws. And uh, last night, uh, Joni Petrie, who does a lot of the uh, parades, mentioned that she had pickles thrown at her. Wow. I don't think we're going to see that. No. but uh, I'm thinking we're going to see a lot of candy today. Uh, since candy. Since goes with their theme of their float. Dan, I wish we wouldn't have the big screen around us because I, I could know, go for I the candy, candy coming in. All right, well, it looks like the band is moving. Here we see the Vanderbilt Catholic High Regiment under the direction of Mr. Brad Adams. They have 138 members. The drum majors for Vanderbilt's regiment are Hunter Bound and Megan Chauvin. The Terrier Regiment, as I mentioned, has 138 members under the direction of Mr. Brad Adams and Steve Wilson. This is Mr. Adams' second year back as band director after spending three years as Vanderbilt's disciplinarian. It is Mr. Wilson's fifth year at Vanderbilt serving as assistant band, assistant director of bands, excuse me. The Terrier Regiment has won numerous awards during the 2010-2011 marching season. At the Louisiana Showcase of Bands, they were awarded percussion and drum major champions. The regiment was one of only a few bands to receive a sweepstakes award, receiving ones in all categories. In December, the Fantastics dance team traveled to Orlando to perform at the Capital One Bowl. In addition to the marching band, the regiment has a dance team, two winter guard groups, two concert bands, and an indoor percussion group. The Wind Symphony has been invited to the Disney Honors National Choral Concert Band and Orchestra Invitational at Walt Disney World in March, and Vanderbilt is the only Louisiana band invited to perform. And I'm sure we're gonna see them perform right here in front of the reviewing stand. stand. So we wanna take a listen.
go. Terrier Red.
had an encore. At the end. I know. <laughs> Especially with those ins carrying their instruments. And when you consider that by the time they get to us, they've done two thirds of this parade already. That's right. And then they stop at the stand to, you know, it's very nice. Very nice. There we have the king and his wife. He's having a good time because I was watching him <laughs> while the band was playing the entire time. He was dancing it up. All right. And I think. Not quite here yet, no. but. The other thing, we talked about this last night. Some of these bands have these beautiful band trailers that follow the band, just in case you need to pick up instruments and right. such. And I got to tell you, just the band trailers are works of art in themselves. They sure are. And I believe just coming into view, we were going to see, there she is, Queen Hyacinth the 60th, Miss Frida Doxy. Queen Frida Doxy has been in the club for 20 years, since 1991. She has been on the Just Us Girls float for all of those 20 years, where she was a co-captain for 10 years. She was a maid in 1991 for Queen Elise Crochet, and again in 2004 for Queen Joan Marlborough. She currently has worked for the last 29 years for the Special Education Department for the Terrebonne Parish School District. Queen Frida has two sons and five grandchildren. Her son Chad is a Duke on the Royal Court of 2011, and her daughter-in-law Sydney is completing her first year in the club. Looks like she's having a good time. It does, and uh, actually, I also work for the Terrible Paris Special Ed Department, and no free to Doxy, as I've gotten lots of memos to keep my <laughs> to keep my work in line and stuff. So it's uh, fun to see her having a good time. And as we've mentioned before, we've seen him on the reviewing stand. Her queen, excuse me, the queen's toasting her king this year will be Mr. Tommy Bear. You know, and although he's not riding, he's having as much fun, I'm sure, as they are I up think here. I so. He is uh, obviously, so to speak, the uh, joy of the reviewing stand, and he's getting ready to go. I think she, yeah, she's also going to have the Royal Court, which I think is going to appear. This is, this is probably the longest stop at the reviewing stand we'll see. And uh, we're going to get to them a little bit later, but a lot of the uh, young pages and dukes are going to jump out and probably go get a restroom break right. right here also. And, you know, along the parade route, um, sometimes you wonder what's taking so long, what's taking so long. But you have to look at it from their point of view. This is a one-time opportunity for them. So... They need to make the most of it, and there's people they want to recognize, and it obviously gives the pages an opportunity for a break as well. And there's a good shot of some of the pages in the queen. Looks like she's had a good day today. It does look like she's had a great day. go ahead and mention a few of the pages as they're showing them. Those are the Queen's pages. And that's Molly Vignair, and um, the, who's the daughter of Lisa and Miles Vignair, and Brant Terrio, who's the son of Carrie and Damon Terrio. Molly Vignair is eight years old, and she attends St. Francis. She enjoys dancing, art, and shopping, and she'd like to be a preschool teacher when she grows up. And Brant Terrio is six years old, and he also attends St. Francis. He enjoys fishing, playing video games, soccer, and baseball, and he wants to be a police officer when he grows up. Yep, I think they go and take that restroom break. I think so, too. And the other pages are Emma Bourgeois, who is the daughter of Shay and Errol Bourgeois, and Ethan Majewski, who is the son of Angel Landry and Martin Majewski. Emma is a seven-year-old and seven years old. And she attends Mulberry and she likes dancing and art and she wants to be an artist and a teacher when she grows up. Ethan Majewski is seven and he attends Mulberry and he likes riding outdoor dirt bikes, playing football and fishing. And he would also like to be a, f a police officer with his own motorcycle when he grows up. So we might see him in a parade down yeah, the road. I think he likes the parade thing. And as we mentioned, this is the point in the parade where the pages can get off of the float and kind of take a little rest, and the queen will have some of her guests onto the float for pictures. I think the first one we'll see is King, Mr. Tommy Bear, And, of course, Mr. Claude is going to be 
the guy who gives a key to the city. I'd imagine to both king and queen in this particular parade. I think so, it looks like it. Michelle Claude, of course, parish president of Terrebonne Parish. And we're fortunate to have a live mic, so we'll just listen in and kind of see what these guys have to say. Assuming we turn the mic on. Uh, if we can figure out how to do that. He did it last night, so. Mr. Renee Rhodes going in to give him a hand with it. There we go. On behalf of the citizens of the city of Homa and the parish of Terrebonne, it gives me great pleasure to present this, these keys to the city to our Queen Hyacinth 60 and King Hyacinth 60. May you have a long and happy reign. opens up until midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, Mr. Clode. On behalf of the King and I, we would like to thank all of our family, friends, and everyone that came from out of town to join with us to make memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you all. One chalice to another chalice. Lots of toasting. And it's nice for us to have the opportunity for them to have a mic so we can hear You're what right. they're saying. You're right. In the past, sometimes we didn't know exactly what was going on, but it's nice for everybody in the area also to right. hear everything. Okay, y'all, raise y'all glasses. We're going to toast to the Queen Hyacinth the Sixth, Miss Freda. One more toast. We're going to toast to this great parish we live in, Terrebonne Parish in Homer, Louisiana. One more. <laughs> Crew of high sentence. <laughs> and to the best court of 2011 ever, with the greatest king ever. Yay. And with that, we'll go ahead and mention who the Dukes are for the Crew of High Cynthians. They are Mr. Doug Dupre, the husband of Karen Dupre. Mr. Nicholas Abair, the husband of Heather Abair. Mr. Chad Doxy, the husband of Sydney Doxy. And we'll listen in. I think maybe we're going to have a special presentation right now. I think it's just the photo walks. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll finish. Mr. Mitchell Abair, Mr. Gary Chatney, the husband of Sharon Chatney, Mr. Dwayne Duplantis, the husband of Susan Duplantis, Mr. Harold Contian, the husband of Laura Contian, and Mr. John Page, the husband of Natalie Page. And again, we mentioned the pages for the Queen were Emma Bourgeois and Ethan Majewski and Molly Vicknair and Brant Terrio, who will, I'm sure, be enjoying their little break inside right now. And there still we inside, have still inside. The King and Queen taking a photograph with the King's wife, Ms. Joan Malbrew. 
they have two sons, Nicholas and Mitchell. Who are also um, Dukes this year. Now, interesting enough, his wife usually rides on Suzanne Crochet's float, but I assume this year she decided to stay, stay in, in the reviewing, reviewing stand. stand. Yeah, very good, very good. And I believe Joan was the queen several years ago. So they have lots of royalty in their family. Unfortunately, we probably won't know every single person who goes up to take photos mm -hmm. with them. Kind of wish we did. I know. But it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to get this shot. So you got to get it while you That's can. That's right. These have to be great photos for these people to have at their homes. So give them the opportunity. There's a good shot of the king and queen. Now, the one thing I've been interested in is, is you know, are we going to see Miss Marguerite Roper? Queen's son, daughter-in-law, and grandchildren. Very good. I'm glad well, he announced that. That's good. Who it is. Very good. I bet the florist and Homer are just as busy for Mardi Gras as they are for Valentine's Day. You said the exact thing. Last <laughs> night I did Aquarius with Joni Petrie. She said the exact same thing. She said the florist and Homer have to be booming right now. They must love Mardi Gras time. Right, because there's a lot of Mardi Gras events that go on, you know, for months. That's so right. That's there's right. Lots of you better keep the yellow roses in stock. That's Anything right. like yellow and purple, purple and, and green, green, you want it. Interestingly, they give the flowers, but then I think she wants them stored away somewhere else, so they actually pull them back with them. I guess I'll have them for her later. Probably hard to have all that on her float with all of her throws. Can you imagine? We're, and I'm not quite sure of the time, but let's say, you know, 3.30ish. And they had their tableau last night. And then they had to get on those floats this morning. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's going to be a long day, but I'm sure a fulfilling day. Well, I live near the mall, and... I could hear sirens when I got up this morning. And you know, at first I'm like, gosh, did I oversleep? You know, what time is it? But, but they get started early in the morning. I think they probably have breakfast with their floats and ride around town and then to get on the float. So they've had a long couple of days preparing for this. Well, I know they definitely, whatever they do, they do it early because I have sisters who ride on some of the floats later in the parade and mm -hmm. I text at 730 and they were right back texting that they were already there wow. getting set up and everything. So uh, it's an all day Not affair, an family. all year affair. Very nice photo yeah, opportunity. Nice. And as we're looking here on the screen, I'm not sure they can tell, but their crowns are beautiful. The kings, I'm, I can't really tell of the queens, but the king's crown has fleur de lis around it. So it's really um, unique and certainly perfect for this area. Actually, looks like Miss Gasboard there, Miss Judy Gasboard. I think it is. She's actually a maid this year. Yeah, and she is dressed mm -hmm. in a, a traditional maid's gown, so. I thought maybe we would see her on a car. I wonder if. He is now joined by the Passman family. I think she might be on the on That's riding just did. right behind the That's queen, what you, so that she is. was able to. That is Miss Judy. A car is directly behind the queen's float. She hopped out. She got up there for a picture. And as a matter of fact, last Thursday night, 
I saw those two over at the uh, festival, the rock concert, uh, the carnival rock mm -hmm. concert here in Homa. And as we mentioned earlier, this is just a great opportunity for the king and the queen's family to board the floats and the take queen pictures is now with jo them. Joined by the Payne and all Stoffs family. I'm glad we have Mr. Rhodes kind of giving a description of each family that goes up to take pictures. Yes, and we had the opportunity to watch. He definitely has done this before and knows a lot about the process and probably makes it run quite smoothly. But it's nice to be informed. It's nice even to have this DVD where in the future you know exactly who, who was who. And exactly. I don't see the pages coming back yet, so I think we may have a few more photo opportunities going on. I do think Ms. Gaspard made her way back to her car. And I think the Dukes are going to be. Yeah, maybe you could run down those Dukes yeah. again for everyone. Okay, the Dukes again this year are Mr. Doug Dupre, who's the, the husband of Karen Dupre. Mr. Nicholas A. Bear, who's the husband of Heather A. Bear and also son of the King. Mr. Chad Doxey, husband of Sydney Doxey, and the, he's the queen's son. Mr. Mitchell A. Bear, who's the son of the king. Mr. Gary Chatney, husband of Sharon Chatney. Mr. Darren Duplantis, the husband of Susan Duplantis. Mr. Harold Concian, the husband of Laura Concian. And Mr. John Page, who is the husband of Natalie Page. So a lot of family on, on this um, no doubt. court. No doubt. That's a great picture right that there. That is a very good picture. We talked about the hard work. There's obviously no lack of finances that go into some of these things. When you make the commitment, if you are king, you are queen. It's a certainly, again, a great time, but a lot of work that goes into it, a lot of things you have to take care of along the way. And I would Im imagine as much fun as it is, I bet it's absolutely exhausting as well. There will be um, a lot of people wanting some rest tomorrow. I agree. I agree. That's the King's sons right there, Mitchell and Nicholas. And mom came back and in. The King's wife, Joan Marlborough. Great shot. See who's making their way up now. So we're finding out that's more of family. King A. Bear's family, huh? His brother Bo with his family. That's um, Councilman Billy A. Bear. I didn't realize that was his brother. You just never know who's related in Homa. Some mall town after all. You're right. Homa's a, a become a big town that's still a small, small town. town. Yeah. <laughs> and once again, a few years ago we did this, and I didn't even realize at the reviewing stand how much went on. But it's a once in a lifetime thing. You have to take advantage of the opportunity. And uh, obviously, Frida Doxy and Tommy Bear will only reign once a year. And this is the year, once in a year. This is their moment to shine. So they want to take complete advantage of it and get all of their family included and involved in the process. I think 
can go ahead and mention, I think we're going to see the pages coming back on in a few minutes. They are Emma Bourgeois, who's the daughter of Shay and Errol Bourgeois, and Ethan Majewski, who's the son of Angel Landry and Martin Majewski. Um, and we also have Molly Vignair, who's the daughter of Lisa and Miles Vignair, and Brant Terrio, who's the son of Carrie and Damon Terrio. We, we really don't want to forget the Queen's float scroll barriers, although Ladies Janet and, and I are kind of looking for them the right now. The crew of High Synth making their very special presentation. This is the 60th year for the crew of High Synthians, and we have one living charter member for the crew of High Synthians, and they would like to, in a very special way, thank Miss Margaret Roper for her years of dedication and service to the ladies of the crew of High Synthians. Very nice. That is nice. And she looks great. She looks like she could be up on a float. That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> it looks like she could take off from here and go ride. 60-year charter member of High Synthians. I bet it would be interesting to hear some of her stories. I agree. How the you know, parade I agree. process has progressed over those 60 years. 1951, the first rolling. I think when they start to pull away, I'm really going to look for those scroll bearers. Right. We're not sure where they are, but we don't want to forget to mention them. Just from our vantage point right now, we can't see them. There's a good chance, and we're kind of getting word that maybe right behind the float. You know, and we'll wait to see if we see those guys there. At any rate, we're going to give you their names. Janet will pass that on to you as soon as the uh, float moves on just a bit. As we leave the reviewing stand, we would like to thank the 325 women that will be following us from the crew of High Cynthians and thank everyone that was here to appreciate this great club and thank Miss Marguerite Roper, because without you, we wouldn't have this today. Thank you. One more time, guys. Ladies. To the crew of Isethians. Yeah, getting the, the pages back on the float and getting them secure. That's the one thing. As far as the pages go, they are very, very well taken care of for the entire route. Yeah, they make sure that they're, they have a harness so that they're not going to fall off the float or have any problems. This has to be a great opportunity for someone from that age to be able to ride on the floats and be able to go back to school and tell all their friends about it. You know, we must mention that Queen also has a harness too. I mean, she's obviously safe up there too. Right. From falling, from quick starts. And especially with the wind today, it's nice to have that protection. And I do see the bearers, the scroll bearers are actually getting in their cars behind it, so we'll get okay. them as soon as they get up here just a little bit in camera view. And the queen's ready to continue her reign today, it looks like. told that now each maid actually is riding behind a car so we'll see some more stops at the reviewing stand sometimes they all ride on one particular float but I think they're riding singularly along the parade route in a car but I do think we're ready to move I as the so. guy has gotten in the truck and uh, they'll be moving on now 
And this is Queen Hyacinth, the 60th, Frida Doxy. And she's making her way past the reviewing stand. In there we have the scroll bears for the king and queen. They are Grace Bondren, the daughter of Lauren and Fred Bondren, and Sydney Thompson, the daughter of Farah and Mike Thompson. Grace is eight years old and she attends St. Francis. She enjoys playing soccer and swim team, and she would like to work with animals when she grows up. Sydney Thompson is seven years old and she attends St. Francis as well. She enjoys dancing and art, and she would like to be a famous dancer or a veterinarian when she grows up. And Sydney's family has been a part of the club for many years. Very nice, very nice. Again, that's Grace Fondren and Sydney Thompson. Looks like they might be enjoying a little snack while they're stopped right there. They are, and I see Vincent Kramer out there, so another photo opportunity. Yeah, this is a long day for anyone, but for these kids, it's an especially long day. But it looks like they're enjoying themselves and having a great time. Yeah, they're making sure that they're strapped in. And you're right, I think they all took a break to eat just a little bit also. Yeah, they go moving down. And we saw Miss Judy Gasford up here a little bit early. I don't think she's actually going to be riding anymore as it looks like she kind of took off part of her uh, so. costume. But we do want to pass on. She represents the uh, candy lollipop. She's from Just Us Girls Float and has been a member of the same float for 16 years. Judy is a retired educator and principal for a long time in Terrebonne Parish. Judy was a past maid in 2004 for Queen jo Joan Marlborough. So there oh, we go. We confirmed queen. it. That's right. And again in 2011 for Queen Frida Doxa. She's been, she was earlier toasted by her Duke, Doug Dupre. And here we're looking at the Midland High School Band under the direction of Drew Broussard. They've come from Lafayette to march in today's parade. The 41 members of the Midland High School Band enjoy coming to Homa to march in the parade. It's nice to see an out-of-town band. It is very nice. Midland is a very, very small school there, a Class B school, so which means they're probably at about 200 and something students. So, so not a real big band, but a nice travel for them. All right, and here we're coming into view with their title float. This is King Candy representing Hycynthians theme. The Hycynthians play Candyland. Again, this year there salutes Candy in the children's game Candyland. The title float, it has 26 riders, captained by Miss Jackie Sinak, and the co-captains are Brenda Gray and Candace Poisson. Jackie is a past queen, number 14 in the club's 60-year history. She was also a past president, past vice president, and past board member. She's been a member of the club for the past 41 years and volunteers countless hours embellishing costumes for the court. Miss Jackie never tells a president no who asks for help. She helps design and made new mantles for the king and queen, which were worn by the queen and the king for the tableau. And Candace Poisson is a former board member and is Miss Jackie's granddaughter. And their family is very, very involved in Carnival, and they just do a lot for the club. Again, this is um, the first float, the title float. Okay, good throws coming from this float. And I see Miss Jackie on the bottom of the float. And we can see coming into view the antique truck from Davidson's Hardware. The Davidson truck is a 1931 Ford double A ton and a half commercial vehicle. It was purchased by Davidson Hardware in the late 70s to be used as an icon to celebrate 
the 100th year of doing business in Terrebonne Parish from uh, 1885 to 1985. The restoration took several years and the involvement of many people. Finally, in January of 1985, the truck was ready to show. And actually, I think what we're seeing is Miss <laughs> Judy, Judy Gaspard getting back into her car. She's not in probably the right order anymore, but who cares? She's still She's number a, one. That's right. <laughs> that's right. She'll be riding just in front of the antique car. And as a side note, my grandfather was a teacher and actually taught Miss Judy Gaspard. Did he really? Yes, he did. I met her probably 20 years ago as I've been in the system for quite mm -hmm. some time. And every place that she was an administrator, everybody loved, loved her. her. Yes. They loved her, yes. I had a friend her. who worked for her and thought she was wonderful. So she's having to do double duty today, not only riding, but she had to scoot on to the reviewing stand for some photos, and now she's able to get back into her car. And there we see the Davidson trucks again. And as I was mentioning, they've had the, the, the truck was bought to celebrate their 100th anniversary, and they have um, also used the parade in uh, for the Mardi Gras parades as well as it has been used in a few Hollywood movies, weddings, and various attractions throughout the parish. Davison Hardware and Supply is proud to be in the fifth generation of family ownership and management. Davidson's Hardware would also like to thank the Ladies Carnival Club for the opportunity to be a part of the parade. And while Miss Gaspard's there, she's having to have her toast as well to the, the royalty and the crew that are in the reviewing stand. I think we had saw where her Duke a little bit earlier was maybe Doug Dupre, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw so. Doug Dupre out there. That's right. I need to go up a little bit. There she goes. That is a nice looking vehicle. That is. And there's the Davidson truck passing by. And just for a little sideboard, the state police have the crash dummies. I guess just to make sure everybody's safe on the way going home. Just a reminder, to take it easy, be safe. That's right. We also want to thank all the local police and law enforcement who participate in the parades and help to keep everyone safe. Yeah, putting this many people together all at one time and usually, especially in our home area, we don't have very many problems and uh, it's really nice and that's due in large part to both the Homer Police and the Terrebonne Parish Sheriff's Office. Right, I think it's a, a great example for, for people to see what you, how you can come together in large groups and have a good time and bring your family out as well. Very good, C-107 passed by. And, and here we have the Karen Crow Middle School. They're under the direction of Mike McGee and they have 50 members. So another out of town band. This is a middle school, nice to see them out today. Mr. McGee actually worked in our area for a while, so this is kind of a homecoming oh, for wow. him. And I have a feeling you're gonna see him play his trumpet because <laughs> he is a very, very good musician and I know he gets involved with the band and playing with them. I think you're right. Let's listen in. There we go.
middle. Yeah, they did a great job. They're under the direction of Mr. Mike McGee, who also played. I wonder what he was, I was trying to pick up what he was doing. Yeah, they're, they they're really very strong. Are. The musicianship is good. For those not familiar with Karen Crow, obviously just north of Lafayette in Lafayette, Paris. This is a middle school. have to remind everybody they're two-thirds through this parade. So I imagine they've walked so far, what, maybe three miles, a I little bit more? So. I would think so. And they still got it going. I think we got another encore going so now. Cajun ancestor there in the Acadiana area. Okay, another encore. Wow. <laughs> They're giving quite the performance.
Metro Middle School, they've given quite a performance for the reviewing stand. Quite a performance. Number two. Yeah. This is the three musketeers. You're right. You are right. Their captain is Angel Landry, and their co captains are Mary Adu and Pam Russo. Angel Landry is the club secretary. Angel and Lisa Robichaud are current board members from this float, and Mary Adu is a past president, past vice president, and a former board member. Cindy Lerett from this float is also a former board member, and Amy Henley is a past maid. This is the Three Musketeers. So let's see if they're going to be throwing any Three Musketeers. Bars, no, I, I don't see a see lot candy. of beads. A lot of beads. A lot of Mardi Gras colored beads, and of course, no shortage of Saints black and gold beads. And a lot of the crew members on this float have uh, black and gold. Um, having a good time. Hats. They are having a good time. Smiles all around. Next float. Now we're on number three. <laughs> now we're on number three. Jawbreakers. Uh, the captain for the float jawbreakers is Brooke Lerett, co-captain. Uh, we don't have a co-captain's name for this one, but we do know that there are 24 riders on this float. 33 years ago, Susan Richard's mom, Pat Flynn, former member and club president, recruited Sharon and Susan Pellegrin, Queen 1992, into the club. Sharon has been a captain for most of those years. Her daughter, Trisha Carmouche, is third generation, and her daughter-in-law is Catherine Richard, also is a float captain. And, and I'm going to ask you a little help maybe on pronouncing that. Sin uh, <laughs> I don't want to mispronounce it. Sinea Richard are also members. Uh, Joan Glover, Pansy Chauvin, and Tina Chauvin, former board members, have been in the club for 25 years, and Tina's daughter, Kara Hamilton, also is a former board member. They all look the same, though. They, they all do. Blonde. They did a great <laughs> job disguising themselves. Shirley Malosaw, Yoli Funderbook, uh, Jeannie Pellegrin, and Carlotta Bajero are all 20-year-plus members and have daughters Amy Malosaw, Jenny LaPerouse, Andre Guidry, and Amy Le Lejean, Angie Pellegrin, and Brooks Lerett riding in the club. All right, and here we have maid number two, Tiffany Ashley. Maid Tiffany represents the Candy Pixie Sticks. She has been in the club for two years and rides Suzanne Crochet's float. She is married with one four-year-old daughter and another baby on the way. Today she's being driven by her husband, Logan. She is thrilled that they get to share the ride together, and she is being toasted by her Duke, Mitchell A. Bear. I imagine being an expectant mom, that costume can be quite heavy, especially if yes. she would have the headdress on. Yes, but it's better than being on a float today. Oh, obviously. absolutely. Better than being on a float. And again, this is May Tiffany Ashley, and she's taking a photograph with her Duke Mitchell A. Bear. We mentioned she's being driven today by her husband, Logan. <laughs> Photo out for husband, too. Yep. He's got to get it. There we go. He's working hard today as That's well. That's right. That's right. And we talk about a lot of the maids who are in there, their husbands have to go they through do, a lot all year right. long also. And probably do a lot of work as well. That's right. That's right. Okay, here we have float number four, Nerds. Their captain is Melanie Babin, and their co-captain is Tara Coleman. 
Liz Kravanek was a maid in 2009. Vera Mie was a maid in 2000 and also served on the board. And Sharon Chotney was a past president and they have a past queen, Dot Wu. And also Barbara Burr, who was a past president, past vice president, former officer, and a former board member on this float. Great costumes. <laughs> Yeah, they went with the nerd look and they pulled it off. I see, and I've seen on several floats the, the riders taking pictures because that's a great vantage point as well. I agree. That's a good viewpoint and something that you don't see very often. Even a video camera up there would be pretty fun. It would be. More antique cars, really good looking cars. Of course, we saw the Davidson Hardware ones earlier. These are from the Lanyalp Antique Auto Club. That is a club that obviously is run by Susan Pizzolatta and Martin St. Romain. The Lanyalp, Lanyalp excuse me, Antique Auto Club has been a part of Hyacinthian's parades for more than 10 years. Nice addition to have that in the parade. Yeah, speaking of having a passion for something, you certainly have to have a passion to restore these cars and keep them in classic shape like they are. That's right. That's a lot of work. And I think they put the cars in the order of age because as we go on, they're it looks like, yeah, they're progressing a little bit. And you can see them kind of taking shape. It and sure does. That's exactly what it looks like. That's the one I want, the silver one coming up right there. That's, that's it. Yeah, that's, is that a Rolls Royce? I'm not sure. As it gets closer, we'll see. As a kid seeing the old ZZ Top uh, videos, car yeah. videos, you know, you'd see a car pretty much looking like that one in there. You know, I'm looking at the insignia on the front. You may very well be right. I don't know a lot about cars, but that's what it looks like. Let's see if we could get a good shot. No, I don't know if that's what it is. No, I don't no. think so either. It's a nice car. Yeah, it's a nice car. Sometimes on the back end you can see. And very nice, very nice. So is that one. We're kind of popping into the 60s with that mm -hmm. one. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we have float number five, Pop Rocks. Their captain's Lindsay Claymont, and their co-captains are Aaron Flynn and Jennifer Laparus. They have 28 riders on this float. Lindsay Claymont is a former board member. Kara Hamilton is a former board member. Missy Doming is a past queen. Jill Polaro Bajron is from Homa and now lives in Denver and flies in every year to ride in the parade. So wow. she's a diehard. That's dedication. We also have a lot of sisters on this float. Lindsay Claymont and Lisa Vicknayer, whose daughter is a page this year. Christy Mazer and Kelly Abair. Stacy Schwilly, Aaron Flynn and Farrah Thompson, whose daughter is a scroll bearer this year. Amy Lagarde and Audra Guidry, Renee LaPont and Leslie Evans, and Missy Domingue and Shelly Guidry. Pop Rock. You are doing a good job of getting all those names <laughs> in. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. No, a great job. And forgive of, us for any mispronunciations. You're doing a great job. It was actually as I look through it, and I'm following you a little bit, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm glad she has to say <laughs> that name. <laughs> Right here is maid number three, Nicole Lede. 
Nicole, May Nicole represents the spicy candy hot tamales. She is married to Corey Lede and is the mother of Austin Lede, 14, and Owen Lede, who is 6. Nicole is a registered nurse with a Bachelor of Science of Nursing degree from Nichols. She's been working at Terrebonne General for, fair, for 15 years and is currently the nurse coordinator for the inpatient rehab unit. She joined the club in 1997 to ride with her mom, Mary Laferouz, who has been a member since 1986. They have ridden alongside each other since Nicole's first ride in 1998. They also have a sister, jo Joan Lima, and a sister-in-law, Robin Laferouz, who's a current board member, as fellow riders in the club. It's a family affair. Many of the members in her family have been royalty. Nicole was a maid in 2004 when Joan Marlborough, the current king's wife, was queen. She wishes to thank her husband for driving her today. Nicole is so glad they got to share the special day together. She also wishes to thank her mom for many fun years of being in High Cynthians together. She will never forget the tableaus and parades they have shared together. So it's quite a family affair for them. You want to know when you said her maiden name, I taught her. I'm getting <laughs> old. I can I said, Nicole Laparus. I know Nicole Laparus. <laughs> so I taught her way back when. And there's her Duke. I think that is Nicholas A. Bear she's toasting with. That's one thing from this script that we can see is it's definitely a family affair. I agree. You and see. lots of, you know, sisters and sister-in-laws and aunts, all of them riding together, which is a great thing. You see the lineage along the way of how it formed and why they're here and such. So it's very nice. Okay. Here's float six, Fifth Avenue. Their captain is Shar Herquez. Shar Herquez has been a member of the club for 15 years. She's been the float captain for the past two years. She was a maid when Missy Domingue was queen in 2000. Her husband Tony has been a duke twice for King Mike Duplantis and King Darren Gidry. There are three sisters that ride this float, and they are Mary Bork, Marsha Williams, and Susie Johnson. And Susie is a maid this year. Marsha Williams has two daughters on the float, Jane Chauvin and Rebecca Williams. Marsha Williams has been a club president and is a past maid for Queen Lara, excuse me, Laura Contier. Susie Johnson was a maid in 1989 and 2000. Mary Bork has been president two times and been a float captain for three years. She was a maid in 1986 and also served on the board. Pat Herquez, who was a float captain, has been in the club many, many years, and she held the office of presidency several years and has served on the, on the board. She was queen in 1994 with King Philip Wu. Debbie LeCompte was a maid for Queen Missy Domingue in 2007. Emily Price was held. Boy, I'm going to tell you, I'm glad they give us all this information. Has held the Office of Presidency yeah. and Vice Presidency several times. She has been on the board too many years to count. She also has been a maid, so a lot of participation on that float. And a lot of family on that float That's as well. That's right. The K-Rock Van, 106.3. I worked for those guys during the high school football season, bringing football games. So, uh, very nice van. I still looking on the outside, and it is on the inside. <laughs> and here we have float seven, Candy Corn. Their float captain is Suzanne Crochet, and their co-captain is Susan Duplantis. There are 22 riders. The float represents candy corn. The queen this year, Miss Frida Doxy, is from this float. So is the king, Tommy Abears. His wife, Joan Marble, is from this float, and she's a past queen. There have been six queens from this wow. float. Queen Frida Doxy, Queen Suzanne Crochet, Queen Joan Marble, Queen Laura Concian, Queen Mary Ann Boudreaux, and Queen Elise Crochet. So lots of royalty on this float. I agree. Suzanne Crochet, who's the float captain, past queen, former president, and a vice president, is also a former board member. Susan Duplantis, the co-captain, past maid, and wife of Duke Dwayne Duplantis. See Miss Pat Adams, who works for the school, or worked for the school system, I should say, is present board member and past president. Also has been a maid in, since 1996. Uh, let's see, Tiffany Ashley, a maid uh, on the 2011 court, daughter of former queen Laura Concian, Mary Bajeron, the first maid, Mary Ann Boudreaux, the past queen, former maid, wife of former king Larry Boudreaux, Shia Bourgeois, past maid and mother of Paige Emma Bourgeois, Laura Cassian, past queen, former board member, and former maid, a wife of Duke Harold Cassian, and mother of maid Tiffany Ashley. 
Karen Dupre, former maid and wife of Duke Doug Dupre. Man, they involved with all the royalty, I think that's here. Uh, Judy Gasford, who is actually a maid this year. Pam Guidry, former maid and wife of past king Darren Guidry. Mona Abair, former maid, not finished yet. Mary Justice, who is a maid this year. Mary Laparus, mother of past king Chris Laparus. Nicola Day, maid this year. Uh, Dawn Pierron, of course, we saw her a little bit earlier. And Roxanne Thibodeau. So everybody on that pillow is part of the royal team. Absolutely. And we have a maid coming up here. Yeah, we're a little bit off because I, 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 I know we didn't see Susie Johnson and I, yet, and I, that's not Susie. That's not Susie Johnson, so. No, it is not. That's Janelle Cunningham, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. That's right. She represents Skittles. May Janelle, as I mentioned, mentioned, represents the brightly colored candy Skittles. She's been in the club for 21 years. She was a maid in 2002 when Susie Dupre Newell was the queen. She is a former board member. She is married to Ron Cunningham. She has one daughter, Lacey, who is married to Heath McCaskill, and they have a three-year-old daughter, Haley Renee. Janelle is a gifted and talented teacher at Broadmoor Elementary School, and she rides on Lori Hamner's float. She's being toasted by her Duke, Gary Chatney. And one thing I'll tell you, too, I've noticed there's certainly a lot of school teachers and school administration in this, uh, yeah, this crew. Yeah, I've noticed the same thing, and I know a lot of them from the school system. The only thing is I noticed uh, a little bit earlier, I thought we would see Susie Johnson come by as one of the maids. We didn't see her come through yet. And that might maybe mean that she's further along. They might have um, changed the order. So yeah, we'll yeah certainly, and, and uh, we'll certainly pass that on as it becomes available. And we have a band here. That's the Grand Caillou Middle's band. The Wildcats of Grand Caillou Middle as I travel down there once a week to see some of the kids who are actually in this band. So it's kind of nice to see them in action today. And they're under the direction of Mr. Ben Tompley, and they have 50 members in their band. There's my man Nick Dion there on the quads playing the drums. He's a good guy, good guy, good for Nicholas. And he saw you too. Yes, he did. <laughs> Okay, and here we have float number eight, Bit of Honey. Their captain is Lori Hamner. Their co-captain is Jamie Falls, and they have 22 riders. Lynn Myers is the vice president and parade captain and a present board member. Jamie Falls is a former board member and designed and made Lynn Myers' captain's costume. Lori Hamner is a former board member. Robin Laparus is a former board member. Vicki Rhodes is a former board member. Susie Dupre Newell is a past queen. There are three sets of sisters on the float. Lori Hamner and Lynn Myers, Monica Roos and Connie Girardi, and Robin Laparus and Ruby LaPont. Out of 22 riders, 13 riders work in education. Lori's float would like to send a shout out to their float rider, Connie Girardi, who is currently battling cancer. They say they love you and to stay strong. Lori is an itinerant teacher and we cross paths a lot. She's actually sh taking photographs on the front of the float right now, doing a good job with it. I'd love to see those pictures. That's gotta be fun I know, it would be a, a, a great viewpoint. And this is made Shanna email. No, that's Susie. Oh, that's Susie, okay. <laughs> this is interesting and folks, you have to bear with us a little bit. That is Susie Johnson and they're a little bit out of order and we'll get them caught up to you as best we can as on the agenda that we have there. Not quite set up the right way, but she, there she is with her Duke. And she has been a club member since 1984 for 27 years. This is the third time she has been a maid. She was a maid in 1989, 2000, and now in 2011, every 11 years. She served on the board for seven years, chairing numerous committees and worked on all the fundraising activities for the club. She is toasted by her Duke, Dwayne Duplantis. I worked with Susie for a long time. She was a coordinator of the talented programs in Terrebonne Parish, retired, and now is the state director. She works in Baton Rouge. She actually just comes home on weekends, but oh, she wow. works in Baton Rouge. This is float nine, Candy Canes with Angela Calitri. There's 24 riders on this float. Their captain is Angela Calitri. Their co-captain is Dana Schwab. And Dana is a uh, Dana is a board member. And there's Kelly Graffinino, who's a board member and a past maid. 
The past queen, Tamara Bajeron, is from this float, and there are two sis sets of sisters riding on this float, Dana and Catherine Schwab, and Gabby, Ernie, and Monique Caligri. So lots of sisters on these um, floats, which You're is right. great. You're right, it's a family thing, a big family. The theme we've been seeing is family, and a lot of people work in the school system. Right. And I gotta tell you, they did a great job of giving us a script. And I've done a few parades over the last years, and I'll come and I enjoy coming to parades. The boy, I gotta thank you, Janet. You're doing a great job going through all of this, as this is the best. It script is a great script because I've done got. quite a few of these as well. And we like to be able to give as much information as we possibly can to the audience so that they know what's going on. So we appreciate the crew taking the time to put together such a great script. A little bit of break. What's interesting is, is we have another May coming up, but we want to make sure we get it right. <laughs> you see it? I there think we so. go. I think this is Shannon email representing Jolly Rancher, if my yep. eyesight is you correct. You are correct. Good eyesight. Shanna represents the Jolly Ranchers candy, and she's been a member for three years and rides on Lori Hamner's float, Bit of Honey. She's married to Mike Email and has three children, Danae, Zachary, and Miranda. And this is her first time as a maid, and she's going to be toasting her Duke, John Page. And I tell you, her costume looks just like a Jolly Rancher. Well, I gotta tell you, if there's a favorite in candies for me and all of this, I love Jolly Rancher. So she wins yep. the award for that. It takes us a little while. We're kind of getting it right. They have a great script, but there were a couple of things out of order. And one of my favorite bands, Lutcha High School's band and the play. And they're under the direction of David Lott. Lutcha High School, of course, in a district with Vanderbilt Catholic and Eleanor Memorial, which is District 84A. So we see them come to the area every once in a while, but a very good entertaining band. It's nice to see so many out-of-town bands in this parade today. Maybe more out-of-town than in-town so. today. Okay, watch it the way I'm doing this, Janet. Okay, Ready? I'm watch. Ready? Watch. Float number 10 is saltwater taffy. Do you know why I took it over? Because it has the shortest, <laughs> <laughs> it has the shortest script out of all of them that I saw so far. So, so I'll give you a little reprieve okay, for just well, a little while. Okay, well, let's see while. if you pronounce all the names correctly. Oh, <laughs> good. Maybe I, so I just stuck my foot in my mouth, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Let's try. Captain is Christine Walker. Co-captain is Rhonda Rao. Rao. Very good. Rota Rao. Rota Rao. Wow. You know what? Maybe I just need to let you do this <laughs> the rest of the way. How about Kelly Casio? Casio. Okay. Very good. Is a present board member. Patty Danos is a present uh, board member. Past queen, and she was queen high synth the 50th. Wow. Well, wow, that must be a great honor. And is a past vice president, Teresa Deplanis. Correct. Very good. Present board member whose husband, Mike, is a past king. Uh, for the 50th celebration. Mike has helped out the ladies of Icynthians at the Tableau and reviewing stands for many years. And Janet, it's official. You're taking over from now <laughs> on. <laughs> and I'll give you another bit of information. We've seen her husband here today on and uh, getting on and off the float when they were toasting. And Christine Walker and Patty Danos are sisters whose mother was on the title float and has been a member for many years as well. So their family has been involved in quite so a So another of connection. I another mean, that's connection, that's very right. Very good, very good. Big parade. I think we got Evergreen's band coming up. I think you're right. As you mentioned, they give us great scripts, but sometimes when they're lining everything up, they, their order changes for one reason or another. 
And we were told that. We were told there may be a few things that were a little bit in a different order, but obviously, being that we see the big banner in the front, we know this is Evergreen Junior High, and we and see the colors, green and gold. And they have a large band, it looks Very like. large. Both Evergreen and Homer Junior High have very large bands for, you know, it's a lot of their seventh, eighth, and ninth graders, and they both bands are very good bands, very, do a great job. And we also need to mention all the parents that have to, to come out and be involved in order for these bands to be here because without that support it would really be impossible for them well to come you can out. see it in this shot if you see on each side of the band that's all parents who are walking along dedicated band parents who are making sure nothing happens to the kids and once again fortunately in homo we're, we're a pretty safe place that's we don't right. have people coming out of the crowd and doing things they shouldn't be doing Evergreen, you're right, a lot of members in that band, and we see the cheerleaders, and we see the dance team. A lot of them out here today. I would say well over 100. I am so pro kids getting into these extracurricular activities. Just from the standpoint of, of all the negative things they could be doing in the world, they're out here doing okay. something positive. I agree. And then, of course, following the band, they always have their support, their trailers, as you mentioned before, in case something happens, they break down, or you see a few band members in the back of the truck that, you know, might need a break because they're wearing these costumes and carrying these instruments. Some of them might have to take a break throughout the parade. There's actually one band in the area that has a port of lead inside of their trailer, so in case they wow. got into an emergency Didn't situation. I never really thought about that, but that could be a problem along the parade that route. That could be, could be. All right, here we have float number 11, Safety Pops. There are 22 members. Their captain is Mia Sonata. Their co-captain is Kathy Jo Hamner. And Mia and Kathy Joe are present board members. Jackie Bernard is the club treasurer and a current board member. Antoinette Benton is a past maid. Maria Archer is a past maid. And Paula Nakian is a past maid. So, I should have picked that one. Right, you could have. I knew those <laughs> names. And the other names, once you say it, it's just a deal of trying to get it together. Absolutely. But. You know, I'm looking at this float because I know a few people on this float. It's interesting today with the social media that they have was being able to follow where the parade was and seeing all of these ladies getting on their floats and where they were along the routes. Kind of, you know, just in the times that I've done the parade announcing how things have changed and how you can really keep up with where the floats are. It's nice to track everything. It, it is. is nice. You know where things are at. And just for a point of reference, it's about, let's say, 435 right now. This thing started at 12, so they've been on the road for quite some time. These ladies don't look tired, though. No, they, they have a lot of energy. <laughs> no, they are moving, huh? To think their tableau was last night, that's what's amazing about everything. What a that's tableau right. last night. All right, and here we have another maid. This is Mary Justice, who's representing Starburst. She's been a member of the crew of Hysynthians for 14 years. Her float captain is Suzanne Crochet. She orig she's originally from Ruston, Louisiana. She's lived in Homa for the past 33 years. She retired from the Terrebonne Parish School System three years ago, where she served as a French and journalism teacher at South Terrebonne High School. For 14 years, she was an assistant principal at Elysian Fields and Grand Caillou Middle School for one year, and she was the principal at Berg Elementary School for the last 14 years of her career. Her husband of 30 years, Jim, is the business unit manager for Wood Group Production Services. They have one son, Jamie, of Bossier City, and one daughter, Jeannie, of McKinley, Texas. Mary and Jim are the proud grandparents of Jeannie and Brian's four children, Mary Beth, who's nine, Allison, seven, Charlotte, four, and John, two. Mary says her favorite thing about belonging to Hysynthians is the wonderful and long-lasting friendship she's made with her fellow Just Us Girls float members under the leadership of Suzanne Crochet. This is her first time being a maid, and she um, says she's made memories that will last a lifetime. Worked uh, right next door to her for 14 years <laughs> at South Terrebonne. 
And this is float 12, Kit Kat. The captain is Catherine Richard. Co-captain is Becky Arnett. There's 28 float members, 26 riders. Miss Louise Moore and Miss Marguerite Roper are two non-riding members. And Miss Marguerite Roper was who they recognized earlier as um, one of the founding members of the club. There are mother and daughters that ride are Debbie Benoit and her daughter. Daughters are Jenna Haydow and Juliet Boyce and Jermaine Benoit. Lana Heck Stagney is a past maid. Sisters that ride are Amy Bice and Andrea Olivier, and there's a board member, Jessica Guidry, and they have five out-of-town riders. Five from Baton Rouge, Trisha Carmoose, Juliet Boyce, Heather Cross, Paula Davis, Tara Weinstein, and Jermaine Benoit, who's from Jackson, Mississippi. Catherine Splitt would like to send a shout out to Miss Marguerite Roper, who is battling can cancer. Stay strong, we love you. We didn't know that, so we that's nice to know along nice. the way. And we see some more of the cars. Yep, that one kind of got lost in the uh, shuffle somewhere, but that's very nice. And nice to have the Acadian Ambulance, although they better watch out for their lives as they come through. <laughs> And you know, this year we've seen, as in the beginning of the parade with the sheriff's department, more of them on golf carts. Maybe I they're agree. trying to save gas with the price I of agree. gas. I agree. Maybe they could just sneak in the parades from here and there and get around easier. floats, and it's a little bit easier to maneuver your way around. The press is out there actually taking a shot of our next. Is that a fire truck? That is a, uh, and I, I wouldn't even start to be able to know the year exactly on that fire truck, but obviously one of those old time fire trucks. He's starting to have quite a gap between he and the next. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have to pick up speed. That's kind of cool. I hope they have a name plate on it because I don't think we have it in our I don't think so agenda. Either. He's not going anywhere quick. No, he's not. He's in enjoying the ride. Let's see, nineteen twenty seven. So for you folks who just saw that fire truck passing by, if you didn't get that plate on the side, 1927. And here we have float 13. Charms and their float captain is Sally Pertwee. Their co-captain is Christy Sinek and Laura Rogers. There are 22 riders. And Sally Pertwee is a past president and former board member. Stephanie Bear, who's a past queen and former board member, and two of her sons are Dukes this year. Jennifer Martin is a past queen and former board member. Laura Roger is a former board member. And mother and daughters on this float as well are Sari per Sally Pertweet, and her daughters are Cindy Pertweet, Angela Adams, and Laura Roger. Her sister, Marguerite, is also on this Ooh, float. That's a great shot. And, Whoever threw um, that, that's a great shot. And I was looking down. <laughs> Margaret also rides on her float. Christy Sinek and her daughter, Lindsay Sinek. <laughs> and Laura LeBlanc and her daughter, Lacey Piku. Jeannie, Jean, John Bienvenu and her daughter, Emily Bienvenu. Uh, that so those ladies were really. Us. Those. Some of them could be playing professional football, I think. They I think we well. should be glad we have a buffer. That was, a, I tell you what, that float did a great job. <laughs> we have uh, Maid Mary Downer, who's representing Lemonheads. And sh this is Mary's first year in the crew of High Cynthia. She's a member of Angela Landry's float. Her duke is Chad Doxy, uh, the son of this year's queen. Mary is the managing editor of Point of View Magazine and The Weekly. She would like to thank the crew of Hysynthians for making her first year a most memorable one. And she's toasting with her Duke, and her car matches her theme, which is Lemonhead. Boy, you are right. And that is a yellow car. That is yellow. 
But it's kind of neat the way it they combine neat. it. I wonder if she had to go out and find that perfect driver who had that yellow car just so she would get it. I, I will say this about all of the floats, the uh, costumes, and they've all been, the, I'm sure the riders tried to stay kind of in costume, have been very, very good. They have. They have, have done a great job with their costumes. This is Gold Coin Gum, and their float captain is Rosie Morrison, and their co-captain is Margaret Rao. That's why I stayed away <laughs> from it. <laughs> and I don't, I keep waiting. I'm like, I don't want to take over if you want to announce them, but no, you're afraid I, to mispronounce their name. I'm starting to look at the names first, <laughs> and then I just pass it on. <laughs> There's 21 riders on this float. Rosie Morrison's been in the club for 42 years. She's a past queen, number 43. She was a treasurer for 15 years. She's a past board member that where she served for 18 years. She was uh, the queen's attendant for three years. The float rider Margaret Rao was float captain for 10 years. She was a past maid in 2005, and all three of her sons were pages. Her daughter Megan rides the float with her. Seven riders will be taking their first ride in this parade. The, it's a very family-oriented float. Rosie Morrison and Nicole Webb are mother and daughter-in-law. Kathy Coleman and aunt and nieces. Lisa Gehring, Patricia Prevost, mother and daughter. Trisha Corbin and Tracy Prevost. Margaret Rao is her mother and then her daughter Megan Rao rides. Seth Werslow is the mother and her daughter Gabrielle Ball rides. Clara Bonnet and her daughter Andrea also ride on that float. So lots of families. So I'll take over on this one, but I have a niche right in the front. So watch <laughs> okay. out right here. Float number 15, Lifesavers. Captain is Catherine Manso. We have moms, Jeannie Thibodeau and daughter Adele Davis. Kathy Manso's daughters, Kara and Casey, although Casey's pregnant and Kara's pregnant. They may not be on the float. Donna Hutchison also on there. Three sets of sisters, Kara Manso and Casey Porsche, Amy Johnson and Andrea Walker, and Maggie Stakem and Emily Guidry. It's don't. <laughs> she just wants to throw, but they got a net. They got a net. My niece, Catherine Teakin, who is in the front right there, having obviously a very good time. Also, my niece is Casey Manso, who they're showing us a picture of. Uh, Karen and Casey can't ride because they're pregnant right oh, now. Okay. So they're not riding right now. So, But their mom's on the float, so very good. Out of towners that ride in here, Adele Davis from Denham Springs, Annabelle Hutchison from Baton Rouge. And here we have float number 16, which is representing Charleston Shoes. Their captain is Denise Robichaud. Their co-captain is V. Nanke, and there are 24 riders on this float. This year's Charleston Shoes are representing the jazzy flappers of the past and how girls even today still want to have fun. Lead their float, led by their float captain, Denise Robichaud. This float has many past royalty officers, board members, and strong family ties of mother and daughter. Three groups of sisters and cousins. Patty Voss is a past queen, past officer, and past board member, and a past maid. Nicole Emerson is a past maid. Julie Rhodes is a current board member, past officer, past maid, and her husband Renee is also a past king. Additional maids are V. Knockin and Jackie Zerwa. Mary Davis is a past board member. And just like flappers of the 1920s, the Charleston Shoes love to have a good time. And it comes to an abrupt end as just like that. I know. And we have gone end. through the parade. We have gone through the parade. Very good. Hi, Cynthia. And your thoughts on the parade today? I think it was great. It was nice to see so many families and mothers and daughters and sisters and aunts riding together. More than any parade that I have ever done. There was more family ties in this one than I've seen in all the rest. And obviously, they're having a lot of fun on the floats. And I have to thank you for taking over on there with a lot of the names, but obviously adding your expertise to the thing. But again, crew of High Cynthians goes off without a hitch. A great parade. We held out on the That's weather because right. it's getting a little overcast, but it was certainly a wonderful day today. A and uh, a lot of more Mardi Gras coming up for That's the next right. week. Happy Mardi Gras, everybody. Happy Mardi Gras. Everybody take care. We'll be back with more parades as time goes on. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.